previously on One Life to Live. The only man I want to be with is right here. If you really loved Blair, you'd want her to be happy. I almost told Nora about Joanna, but then I thought, well, why get it over with in just one day? Did she tell you anything about uh, Jess and Natalie? She said I should ask Mitch. Mitch Lawrence is dead. Is he? Oh, excuse me, Gabrielle. Blair Manning. How did you get this number? Well, that just proves that we did a good job. No, wait, you listen to me. Drop dead. What was that all about? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's a story on the crime syndicate. I guess it's hit home, and I'm getting some death threats. Death threats? Yeah, it kind of goes with the territory. But it, um, you know what, Gabrielle? We aren't really close. No, not especially. Well, I, I, I just want to thank you for what you did. What did I do? Telling Bo that Todd called? I mean, you could have kept that information. And there was a time when I would have. <laughs> yeah, to see what you could get for that information. Um, why, yes, as a matter of fact. Well, maybe I would have, too, many moons ago. So what changed you? Loving Bo? Really? It seemed to have knocked the nonsense out of me. At least most of it, anyway. Well, for whatever reason, I... I'm really grateful. Well, thank you for saying that. It's very kind of you, but totally unnecessary. I obviously didn't know and couldn't help because nobody realized when he called that he was actually in town. I certainly didn't. Yeah, well... He is, and... But it also proves that you aren't working with him, so... It's another one of those bad habits I dropped. Well, that's good for the both of us, because I think the more isolated Todd is, the less trouble he can get us all into, you know? Mm -hmm. oh. You know what? I told you that... Sister Teresa. I'm sorry. With some... What? He... I'll be right there. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. Goodbye, Gabrielle. Uh, good, goodbye. Bo, what is it? It's your medical record. May I? I think by all rights, it's your proper. Oh, my. Oh, my. I wonder what's in here. I mean... Whatever happened way back then, it, it was bad, you know. I mean, it was it was very bad. It was bad enough to bring Nikki back and all the terrible things that she did to, to my daughters and to Ben and to you. And... No, 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 but that was Nikki, all right? You're not guilty of anything. And that's all over. Well, it's not over for Ben. Vicky, Ben is going to come back to us someday, soon. And whatever's in this file, now you've got both your girls. You know, so there's nothing in the truth that can hurt you anymore. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Thank you. So, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, now or never, I suppose. <gasps> Wait, what is it? My ultrasound. Possible. I have never, ever in my life seen this before. Look at this, look! No, there's no doubt. No, clear as a bell, two babies. Baby one, baby two. My God, it's my girls. So Dr. Balsam knew. Yeah. He knew I was carrying twins and he kept it from me. Deliberately. Why? Why was it so important to him that I believe I was carrying one child? Maybe it wasn't so important to Dr. Balsam. Maybe it was important to Mitch Lawrence. Why would Mitch Lawrence care if I was having one or two babies? I don't know, but I'm going with your hunch that Mitch Lawrence is at the bottom of this, even though we haven't found anything here that connects him to Dr. Balsam. Well, we got Roxanne. She, she thinks they knew each other. Well, yeah, yeah, but she's not that reliable. Look, why don't I go through these last couple of boxes? All right? 
I mean, you've just pulled your first LPD all-nighter, and then finding this file on top of that, I think you got to be exhausted. Yeah, I'm tired. Sure, I'm tired. All right, you go home, you get some rest, and I'm gonna, I'll call you if I come up with anything else, all right? Well, um, if you don't mind, I'd just as soon see this through to the end. If I go home, I'm not going to be able to sleep, because I think the truth is in here someplace, you know. Do you mind? No, I'll tell you, we'll, we'll make a compromise then. Why don't you take a box home and look at it, and then I'll go through the other one here. Right. I can't tell you what it means to me that you're doing this. I really appreciate it. No, no, no. So you thank me when I crack this case. Oh. Hello, Mickey. Hello, Gabrielle. Thank Vicky. you. Look, we're going to find out what happened. All right? But you just remember that it's all over now. You've got both your girls. Okay. And everything else is in the past. It's all dead and buried. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Look at this. Funny. I'm buried in here. I mean, I, I got to go through all these boxes and papers again. When I was getting worried. You did call and say you were going to be working late, but... Uh, yeah. With uh, Vicky? Yeah. Yeah, we... We've been at it all night. Doing what? Working. I mean, look at this. I'm teasing. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you must be hungry. Are you? Mm-hmm. I've got a Oh. But you know what? Hey, don't let this get around. Because I'm a cop. You know, cops do donuts. We don't do muffins. Okay. All right. I won't tell anyone if you don't tell me. You're a sight for sore eyes. Are your eyes really that sore? I can hardly even keep them open right now. Oh. Does that uh, go for these lips as well? 